Right, hey y'all welcome back to our channel as you guys can see we're gonna be doing embarrassing stories part two so he's gonna show you what he got to eat i got pizza as well he's gonna show you his first bam and i got a plain slice plain and slice, garlic knots. garlic knots i got a sausage slice oh. to sample a lot of the pizzas in the area he has this is his fourth place he sampled so far in my second place so we're trying to see who has the best pizza in the area what do you think? This is good. Yeah. Definitely going. This is my new pizza spot. Oh yeah. I gotta taste the plain though. Mmm. A lot of cheese. That's because of the type of slice it is. You don't want one of these? I'm talking about my cheese. I don't know. Should test it. It's good. Mm. Probably not. Mm. Mm. I'm a big garlic nut, fam. Wow, that's a lot. Big dip. Looks like spaghetti sauce. Mmm. It's really garlicky. That sauce was kind of expensive. I got one sausage pizza slice. Three fifty seven. If we cook it, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> our second meal of the day it's like seven o'clock we work today obviously so. what you like your pizza mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm gonna have one of these slices in a minute he's a pizza connoisseur he loves pizza everybody don't make these good mm. always looking at reviews before we go eat somewhere so Reviews ain't good. Y'all gonna see us. If you're like 50 50, you'll see us. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you my story. It's TMI. They all TMI. <laughs> but anyway, I'm like, I was like sixth grade. I was sick. I had food poisoning or something like that. So I was out of school probably for like two days. I felt bad enough to go back to school or whatever. And that morning I had eight. And I was like, hmm, I guess I should be okay. So we was all lining up or whatever to go into the classroom. To I'm watch. eating, bro. This, I know where this is going. You told a story the last time about poop. You wasn't eating, though. I was, was still eating. eating. Nuh-uh. Mm -mm. Don't even try it. <laughs> so lined up or whatever. And I don't know where this is going. I never heard this story before. I did tell you. You probably don't remember. So he's on one side, other class on the other side. So I'm like out of nowhere. I start feeling like weird. Start feeling dizzy and stuff. And there was a girl in my class that lived in my building. So I was trying to tap her, being like, I don't feel good or whatever. I was telling the teacher I need to go to the bathroom. She's like, wait, you can't go nowhere, et cetera. The bathroom's right behind me. I just walked down the hall. And I was like, oh my God, I can't. And now I just felt like mad, dizzy, and weird. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah. So next thing I know, I threw up, basically. In front of both classes, both sixth grade classes, all the boys, all the girls. It was like probably at least maybe like, I don't know, 30 of us out there or a little bit more. Everybody's like, ew, all at the same time. They're like, ew. The teacher like, go to the bathroom, girl, go to the bathroom. I've been asking you to go to the bathroom this whole time and you guys will not let me go to the bathroom. So I went in there or whatever and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened to me. I'm so embarrassed, whatever, whatever. I would have just went. I'm, I always follow the rules like to the T, so I don't know. I didn't want to get in trouble. So I had to like psych myself up to go back in the classroom because i was like i gotta walk in front of everybody everybody's in their chair right now i gotta walk in front of the class go to my seat and stuff so i was like really like oh my god i can't do this so i stayed in the back for a while because i was like mm -mm. and i was very very shy then i'm still shy but if i was like on a scale from one to ten back then i was like a thousand percent shy <laughs> so like completely shy to the to the max so anyway i went back i was like all right you could do this you can do this so i walked into the classroom and one of the popular girls sat in the front. She's like, she never really talked to me that much. She's like, here and there. She's like, oh, Chris, do you feel better? I was like, yeah. I was like, that was weird that she was asking me if I felt better. And then she's like, yeah, because I don't want you to throw up on my new pants. I was like, okay. So now I just walked to my seat, and I was just like over it for the whole day. And I never forgot that. <sighs> it was a bad time. <laughs> but yeah, it's my story. What do you got for the people? All right, he's up now. Okay, guys. 
Another quick story. She and mine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, I was young, single digit age, had to do number two real bad. Again. Nobody was home. I was waiting for my mom to come home. I was by myself. I was outside. I think my friend, the friend, my boy I was with, he had to leave. Um, I used to live, like, it was the park. The block I used to live on, it was a park right behind the block. So the park was like our backyard. Everybody that was on my side of the street, the park was their backyard. Well, it was behind their backyard. Went around the corner to the park. Holding no more. I was waiting for my mom for so long. Couldn't hold it no more. So what I did was, it was like, you know, the, the paper boy, they be dropping off those newspapers. I went to three houses, mines, the one next door, and the one next door to that, and got all their papers. The park. Took a dump in the park, man. Went behind some bushes. Took a dump. <laughs> Wipe my butt with newspaper <laughs> like a dog. Oh my god, that is bad. <laughs> yeah, I had to go. What you want me to do? Like, I was. I don't. Remember, I don't know if this. I think this was after. Yeah, I was. This probably was like around the same age. The other story. It was probably like a little, a couple years apart or before, I don't know, but it was around, I was around the same age. Did you tell your mom? Uh, you I don't remember that I told oh. my mom or not. Yeah. Well, she gonna know now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did she come home like right after that or? I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. remember. Mm. I've never had to do anything like that before. I don't even know if I could do something All like right. that. As soon as she came home, I jumped in the shower. Good as new. Wow. I wouldn't even think to go get the newspaper. I would just be like, well, I don't know what to say. You're just not going to wipe your butt? I don't You're going to pull your pants right up? I wouldn't even think to do that. Dirty. Like, so, those are our embarrassing story times. I have plenty more because I'm a shy person. Like I said, everything, like, used to embarrass me. Like, my face used to get so red in school, out of nowhere. It's crazy, like. I don't really have too many I embarrassing stories. That story wasn't really embarrassing to me. Before. Somebody could have walked in the park. They didn't, though. Nobody would never know about that if I ain't tell people. Mm. How you know somebody wasn't watching you from afar? Well, somebody could have been watching me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> out their window or their house or something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I was like, was. the bushes I was in, I was kind of like covered. Mm. But like somebody could have watched from up high. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have known what I was doing. They just would have seen like the top of my head or something. Wow. Y'all yeah, try stories. I'm below y'all stories. Now, what do you give the pizza out of 10? I give the uh, Penny Lavaca slice a cool nine. Wow. High. I give this like a, a eight. Oh, so you like the Penny slice better than the cheese slice. Yeah, this is kind of thin. Mm. It's good, though. Garlic knots, give it an 8.5. So out of all the pizza in the area, what's your number one now? Out of the four you tried, you have a number one. Is that better than your number one? No, nothing's better than my number one. Really? Anthony Franco's. The best pizza in Jersey. I'm talking about here. <laughs> you said, I said in the area. Like you said what? I have a number one. Yeah, in the area you have a number one. That's my number one. So this is your number two pizza in the area. It's a tie, basically. So. This is a tie between. His number one and this one. There's three of them that's good. Mm-hmm. This one and two other ones. My pizza, you guys know I'm from New York, so had a lot of, not from, but I grew up there. A lot of New York slices, so I'm always comparing stuff to New York, New York, New York, so. She grew up in New York for more than half her life. I was born in New Jersey, though. She from New York. I was born in New Jersey. She was raised, raised New out York, there. raised New York, you from New York. You got the New York state of mind. I don't know. You're from New York. Comment below what y'all think. I was born in Jersey, but raised in New York from 10 all the way to like mm, a late age. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell them. Nope. <laughs> I get my pizza like, mm, like 7.58. Me? I like sweet sauce pizza. Like, that's my thing. I like sweet sauces. Like, I need a sweet sauce, etc., etc. I don't like too much cheese where it's going to choke you. 
that type of stuff so and my pizza was kind of expensive basically four dollars for one slice i got a penny of vodka slice a plain slice six garlic knots and a snapple my favorite snapple right here number one great baby everything that we eat 13 bucks in this area is going to be very expensive because of everybody and how much they make here so it's always going to be very very expensive so if you go by me eat it's a little bit less so yeah pretty much it and we'll see you guys the crust is trash too mm. but it's all right i don't even care about the crust i don't eat crust at all i always waste my crust so yeah we'll see you guys next time